Hey, this is Diane's son DIY, and today we're going to be making this rustic coffee table out of 2x6s and 2x4s. To make this, we'll need quite a few materials. We'll need the wood, as well as the table saw, miter saw, circular saw, orbital sander, and trim router. A drill with a pocket hole jig will also be used to join the tabletop together, though there are other methods to do so. Also, we'll talk about the supplies needed to finish the table when we get to it, but everything mentioned throughout the video can be found in the description below. The wood used to make the tabletop is the most iconic part of the build. The color and texture of the wood comes from heavy abuse and weathering. The board was originally used as a backer board of some sort and was left in the mud for over a year. It's amazing how it could be salvaged and turned into a coffee table. To get started, I took the 2x6s and cross cut them into equal lengths of 43 inches. To do this, I used a miter saw. Afterwards, I ripped the edges off the pieces to knock off most of the factory roundover. This was done on a table saw. The reason this was done was to create a secure joint between the pieces of wood and because I thought it would look better this way. Once all the pieces were cut, I laid them down on my workbench and started drilling pocket holes on the bottom sides of the pieces. This is the joinery method I chose to use. I then applied the glue to the edge of the piece. From there, it was a matter of clamping and screwing the pieces together to ensure that I get a proper joint. Once I screwed in all the screws, I removed the clamps and wiped off the excess glue that had squeezed out from the front. Now while the tabletop was drying, I got started on making the legs. The legs were made from two 2x4s cut at the length of 18 inches. These pieces were cut like normal on the miter saw. After that, I took the cut 2x4s and glued them together to form an L-shaped leg. After the pieces were glued together, we brought the pieces over to the table saw and ripped off the edges. Now it's time to attach the leg to the tabletop. Before we get started with this, however, we need to cut a 2x2 scrap into 4 3 inch pieces. These will be used to form a solid connection between the legs and the table. These pieces were cross cut on the table saw, though it could have just as easily been done on the miter saw. Now that the 2x2s are cut, we can attach the legs to the top. The way we're going to do so is by setting up the leg against the top and attaching the 2x2 to the leg with 2.5 inch screws. This will serve as the main support to hold up the top. Once you've attached the 2x2 to one of the legs, you can repeat the process for the rest of them. Now while the legs are drying, we can go back to the dried tabletop and square up the edges. Because the top was so big, we had to use a circular saw instead of a table saw. At first we tried to get away by doing this handheld, but eventually decided to use a fence to get a cleaner cut. Now all that's left is to prep for staining by routing and sanding all exposed edges to give a professional look. After that, we can assemble the table and screw everything together from the bottom. And later we added more screws from the sides to make an even more secure joint. With that, I also filled a lot of the knots and defects in the legs with wood filler and sanded it down after it dried. Now it's time to apply the finish. I decided to go for a rustic style that ended up matching the top quite well. If you choose to go for another type of look, 
These supplies won't apply to you. I used the primer from Zinsser and the dark walnut stain from Minwax to finish my coffee table. The way I used the primer is simple. I mixed it with water with a 1 to 1 ratio and applied 2 to 3 coats of it to the wood with a clean rag. After that dried, I applied a thin coat of stain to cover the base coats. I then continued the same process with the rest of the table until everything was stained properly. So after the finish is applied, you're finished. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did, please leave a like or subscribe if you want to see similar videos in the future.